Hey, Indianapolis Motor Speedway fans, Doug Bowles here with you at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I know it doesn't look like the yard of bricks or the racetrack. Many of you probably cross this bridge on your trek to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway when you come to the Indy 500 or our Brickyard Weekend every year and you park over here on the west side of the Speedway. But not a lot of you probably go underneath the bridge. So I'm not here to fish. I'm actually here to check this out. You know, one of the things that happened at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway back when it was built in 1909, they had to figure out how to navigate Little Eagle Creek, which actually worked its way down to Eagle Creek on the south side of the racetrack. So they had to build tunnels underneath the racetrack to do that. And still today, that water crosses underneath the front stretch and then again out between Oval 1 and 2. And we're going to go down and check it out in behind the bricks, maybe even under the bricks in this episode. I've never done this before. Let's go. All right, so we're just getting started on this trek to get underneath the racetrack, see where this water really goes. It's really pretty right here. We are actually on the west side of the racetrack. The front stretch is right here to my left. And uh, right now the water's okay because it's post season. When you're walking in here on race morning, sometimes when we have that May rain, you don't want to be standing here. And by the way, no bricks here. Don't come looking for bricks on race weekend in this part of the creek. Let's go see what we can find as we go forward. not a speedway brick. We've never done this before and we didn't pre-walk this. So we have no idea what we're gonna find or what might find us. So uh, if we seem a little tentative, it's because we are. But as you can see, it's not a lot of space here. And for, for those of you that like spelunking, maybe we should have brought you along with us. All right, this is, we have no idea what we're gonna find or what might find us as I noted earlier. And it's dark enough that we really can't see much, but we are right underneath the paddock seats right now. And this is an area when, when you're walking to your seats, you can actually see here, you'll see turtles in here, all kinds of other animals. You can see animal tracks here. Looks like an old skateboard. It is part of an old skateboard here in Little Eagle, Eagle Creek. So not a brick, but an old skateboard. I am going to put it up here for the guys to pick up. Pretty spectacular view. It's not the racetrack, at least the asphalt part of the racetrack, but it is right underneath the paddock seats along the front stretch. As you can see at the very end there, and we'll go up there and check it out. That's where the water then will decide to go underneath the racetrack. And it actually is buried underneath inside turn one. We did that right before MotoGP, but until MotoGP, if you sat in the grandstands, you could see the water. But let's go check this out and we'll see if Brady and I are brave enough to venture in. A little hint, probably not. So this is so far the best part of the walk. This part of the river or the creek, Little Eagle Creek here, it's actually got a concrete base. So we're not walking on the, the silt and the soil that it took to get us here. But now we're on the southernmost end of Little Eagle Creek. It's really right where A paddock, A penthouse breaks between B paddock and B penthouse. You all that sit down here will know that break. So that's where the water decides to go back underneath the track. And then you don't see it until it comes out in the section where there are no grandstands uh, between turns one and two of the oval. Now, I'm not really brave enough to do this, I don't think, but I am gonna turn my light on on my phone. Let's just see if we can see anything underneath here. Oh, I think I'll stay away from the bats, uh, or something that looked like bats. It was hanging from the top. So there you have it. I'm gonna stop right here, just because I don't, don't know what's underneath there. I know where it ends up. But thank you for joining us on this uh, strange but pretty cool edition of Behind the Bricks. Look forward to seeing you here in 2022 for all our events. But more importantly, stay tuned to all the IMS social channels and more episodes of Behind the Bricks.